Hello, I am Stephen Metcalf. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am president and founder of Jesus Manifest Ministries. I want to talk to you today about something very important, and that's the subject of faith. Recently, the Lord impressed to me after several years of ministry. After around five years of ministry, the Lord impressed to me in a vision to teach God's people faith, to go out and teach God's people faith. And he said to me, I will enable you to teach faith and bring the faith, the, the faith message back into the world and bring the faith message back to the people of God. And he showed me in a vision when God's people were eating rotten meat. The Bible says in James chapter 5, verses 14, that strong meat belongs to those who are mature, to those who've exercised their senses to, de to discern between good and evil. Well, I've been at it, and I've been talking about faith since then. What is faith? You realize so many people today misunderstand faith. They confuse faith for hope. They confuse faith for optimism. Some even confuse faith for things that have nothing to do with faith. But the Bible clearly says faith is the substance of things hoped for. It's the evidence of things not seen. This substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen is given by God. It's given us through the reception of God's word, it's given to us through His word. When we hear His word, Romans 10, verse 17 says, Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Substance is what causes things to move, the substance of God. And this substance is found in the word of God. It's found in the things that God has said. Matthew 4, 4 says, Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of God's mouth. We've seen so many things happen in the world through faith, and we've seen so many things happen because faith was not obeyed, and the laws of faith were not obeyed. Faith has laws, and faith must be explained to the greatest detail. These people are going to arise victorious in Christ Jesus. Let's start with the simple basics. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing. When you hear the scriptures, when you hear the word being preached, that's faith. You don't know when it comes, but we know it comes by hearing. You might have heard the word two years ago, or this year, or, or, or a few days ago. But one thing we know is that when you heard it, faith came. And faith comes by the Spirit of God also, because faith is a spirit. Whenever we're around the Holy Spirit, the environment of faith is real. The environment of faith is natural, the environment of faith is potent. And faith must be reintroduced to humanity. Jesus Christ came that we may have faith in God and made it easier for us to understand that God is not afar off and hidden in the clouds. God is here with us in our hearts. John chapter 14 and verse 21 says, faith will come when we begin to obey. Faith works by love. Everywhere we go, we see people trying to reach God with prayers and exertions and so many things they do such that they may attain the promise of God and the promise of Abraham and the promise of the Spirit, the promise of eternal life. But the Bible says that it is of grace that it might be by faith. Actually, the Bible says that when faith comes, then grace is made possible. For by grace we are saved through faith. We must understand that what God wants to achieve with humanity has never been achieved before. It's greater than the creation of the world. It's greater than the creation of the universe. God puts faith there such that we may understand that God has a bigger plan. A plan is in His promises, the promises are in His word. Many people live broken lives, communities are broken, families are broken, individuals are broken. There is only one answer, and that's faith in God and faith in His Son, Jesus. Eternal life is a spiritual thing, and therefore faith is a spiritual thing. We can't touch faith. 
we can't exchange faith, but we can receive faith and release faith back to God in honest expectation of what He's going to do in us. When the Lord told me after many years of ministry, go out and preach the gospel, but this time I want you to teach my people faith, I knew it's a special anointing to teach faith. It's a special anointing to bring people back into the promises of God and bring people back into the life of God and that the words of faith would confirm and establish and settle many in the salvation that they have received in Jesus Christ. Everything that we do for God, we do because we have faith. We love God because we have faith. Because faith works by love. We obey God, we go and work for God because we have faith. We know that when we go out and preach the gospel, miracles, signs and wonders are going to happen. Souls are going to be saved. The poor will be made rich. The blind eyes will open. We know this because we have faith in God's word and we've received it and made it one with us. If you will make the decision to listen again to the words of faith, to the words of God, you will begin to realize a depth of intimacy. The person of Jesus will be made known to you even more. The revelation of his knowledge, the revelation of his wisdom, his understanding will be communicable to you even easily than it was in the past. The world needs a solution. The world needs an answer. And Jesus Christ is that answer. But when Jesus Christ was sent, there was only one prerequisite. Not exertions in prayer, not nations meeting together to solve the world's problems. The world's problems are solved through faith in God. And this is why we are here today, to remind you that God still exists. The Bible says in Hebrews 13, 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He does not change, and therefore faith does not change. We can grow our faith from it being small, the measure of faith that we've received in Romans chapter 12, and grow it and become a great faith. And we can receive the faith of God, the faith that will cause us to do great things for God in the kingdom. But this all is because we have received and accepted the lifestyle of faith. The Bible says that just shall live by faith. So the subject of faith cannot be underestimated. We cannot underestimate it or overestimate it. Faith is faith because faith is of God. In everything that God wants us to do, it's not because he wants us to go through the trial of faith and experience difficult in believing opposite and contrary to that. God wants us to be one with him in our life, in our language, in our results, because we are made of him. The Bible says, beloved, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And he that overcomes the world, this is the victory that overcomes it, even our faith. We must understand that faith is that one single entity that God injected into humanity to solve his problems and her problems. Today, we are at the precipice of time. Lord Jesus is about to come. We still have nations that are opposed to the hearing of the gospel. We still have people that do not know the message of faith but we preach it for the obedience of the nations and we are dedicated to teaching it for the obedience of the nations so here at Jesus manifest ministries we are preparing you for the message of faith to hear God and to believe God and to do things that you've never done and to experience a new level of his anointing and glory Eternal life is life to be expressed, it's not life to be heard. You must express it to know you have it. And what other way to express eternal life other than faith in Jesus Christ? We have a challenge. The world is hungry and people are listening to so many doctrines, people are listening to so many things out there 
and faith is being stifled. Faith is being killed in humanity. But we are dedicated, you and I, to going out and preaching the gospel of faith and telling the people of this world that without faith, it is and will always be impossible to please God. And he that comes to God must believe that well, God is, and He's the reward of those who diligently seek Him. And we are going to diligently seek Him in faith, and we are going to diligently do what He told us to do in faith, because faith is absolute and faith does not fail. The scenarios in the Gospel show us faith does not fail. Today in, in the church we know faith does not fail. We received our salvation by faith. Romans 10, 9 and 10, if thou will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes unto salvation, and with the heart, with the mouth confession is made unto righteousness. Let's take this gospel. Let's tell the world about Jesus. And let's have faith that God will do extremely abundantly Above all that we can imagine, build hospitals and build universities and build cathedrals and build orphanages and change society and change the leadership because we've decided to have faith in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. Stefan Metcalf. <laughs>